suicide the other day or so, so people but uh and it's sad to see that this brother the greatest icons out there in the world the created the world created created a famous ass show Soul Train he started back in the 70's and ran the 2000's into the 2000's but he only hosted it to 1993 with only 400 bucks in his pocket he made it work I grew up watching this show and the only host I liked was Don Cornelius and his famous his famous catch line peace no, it was love, peace, and soul. To see him commit suicide uh, over his wife leaving him, I thought it was just—I I thought it was sad that he committed suicide because his wife left him. I'm not gonna talk down about him, but I think he should have got some help. Should have got some help for that. And. Somebody, he should have reached down and asked somebody for help. And it's kind of sad that he didn't ask for help. Nobody knew he was depressed. And he even created the Soul Train Awards. And it's never going to be the same without him. How can you sit there and forget somebody like him? You can't. It's like trying to forget Richard Pryor. You can't forget the, these forget good people. And for him to to die like that, man, it was so messed up. He's been in so many he's been in on sitcoms, he's been everywhere. But to see him go out like that, I man, that's pretty much fucked up. Him committing suicide. Over the voice, over a divorce, and it's it's kind of sad though. At least he should have, he could have got some help, talked to somebody or something because him doing this was no no fun. It wasn't great. That's the word I'm looking for. It wasn't great. You're probably wondering, like, oh, why you playing that old Soul Train Wolf, Soul Train theme song? Hey, he created it. It's his. I thought I'd respect him by playing the old, not the original Soul uh, it's from, not the original Soul Train song, but from '87 to '93. Yes, man. But, but it's like this, man. For him to go out like that, man, it's pretty much messed up in a way. It is, it's pretty much, because, because pretty much, man, everybody grew up on, everybody grew up on Soul Train, like, there was American Bandstand, but he took the show and made it what it is, and he ran for that long, and people loved it, people loved it, and I think it was just, it, I think it was unnecessary for him to kill himself over a divorce. Like he should, somebody should have helped him, picked him up, and dusted out, dust him out. That's how it is. Somebody, somebody should have helped him out. He should have sat down and talked to somebody. He should have sat there and tried to get some help. <coughs> For some, excuse me. Like we are. Like from. 2000, like for the last few years, we lost a lot of people. I think from 07, I think from 07 to 2012, we lost all the greatest. Like they say, all the greatest ones, all the great ones are dying off. We lost Richard Pryor, we lost Macho Man Randy Savage, we lost Ryan Dunn. And we lose a great man. It hits right. It hits right in the black community because he was. He made TV. He made shows like that, like Soul Train. 
something. He made it work. And he always dressed sharp, though. He always dressed sharp. And it's just heartbreaking just to sit here and talk about a, a great man because he committed suicide. And now it just it, it just made no sense that this man committed suicide like that. Like like I said, if you're going through something in your life if you're going through something in your life then I think you need to get some help I think you need to sit down and talk to somebody because if you're going through a lot of stuff do not bottle it up and do not bottle it up inside do not sit there and keep it to yourself if something is bothering you if you are depressed, if you are upset, if you think your life is going upside down, just don't sit there and hold it in. Because when you hold it in, you're going something's going to happen that nobody should nobody should see or know about. Should see, but he, I think somebody should have been there. I know some of y'all say, well, he did it, did it upon himself. I know he did it upon himself, but he didn't. It's just, how do you grasp it? How do you hold on to something like that? How do you just take it in? How do you take that in, man? The man who created Soul Train and the Soul Train Awards, when he made Soul Train Awards, he was, it was like, <laughs> the Soul Train Awards was like, a black Oscar. No, it was actually uh, what is it? The the the, the sound the the the, the, the was something like that. The, it was like not the Oscar, but a Tony. Something like a Tony. It was like a Tony, and he made that happen, and people enjoyed the show. People enjoyed what he did. And it's just not gonna be the same. I know y'all gonna. Like sitting up here, you can go on demand on, you know, if you got a DVR from Comcast or Xfinity, yeah, I think you can go on demand and look up the Soul Train shows. Or that, I think it's TV One that plays the old uh, Soul Train Awards, man, because you know you can always look it up on YouTube, the Soul Train, so the Soul Train, and watch these episodes. Because if you grew up on it, you had good taste. If you grew up on Soul Train, you had good taste. If you uh, if you don't know what the fuck a Soul Train is, man, something definitely wrong with you. Definitely wrong with you. Because it was like the black American band's name, just black. But they had some white people, white people knocking down the doors, coming up in there. It was just a mix of black, white, Asian, like, uh, everything. Like, you ever, I think, if you ever watch that video of, uh, Norris Barkley called Run, and you see all these people around Justin Timberlake, like, it was kind of like that, but much bigger. But it, he, it, the show actually been featured on several TV series, like The Cosby Show and Fresh Pink. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's how popular this show was back in the 90s and in the 2000s. That he and that it was everywhere. You cannot stop this show. Even though the train might stop with Don Cornelius, but if you keep if you keep it in your memory, if you keep it in your heart, the train would never slow down. So I say this, Mr. Don Cornelius, rest in peace. And the soul train will always be running. This has been Afro Joe. If you like what I got to say, leave a comment. Leave a leave a leave a comment. Leave a video response. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. And this that's how it is. Like they say, like.
Don Cornelius say, love, peace, and soul. All right, everybody.